may be seated. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together David William Lankop and Melody Sharon Hefley in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God and signifying unto us the mystical union that exists between Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence in Cana of Galilee. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate these two persons come now to be joined. I require and charge you both as you stand in the presence of God, before whom the secrets of all hearts are disclosed, that having duly considered the holy covenant you are about to make, you do now declare before this company your pledge of faith each to the other, and be well assured that if these solemn vows are kept inviolate as God's word demands, and if steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of your heavenly Father, God will bless your marriage, will grant you fulfillment in it, and will establish your home in peace. And I also charge you both as you stand in the presence of God to remember that love and loyalty alone will avail as the foundation of a happy home. If the solemn vows you are about to make are kept faithfully and if steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of your Heavenly Father, your life will be full of joy and the home you are establishing will abide in peace. No other ties are more tender, no other vows more sacred than those you now assume. David, will you have Melody to have be your wedded wife, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, keep only to her for long as you both shall live? I do. Melody, will you have David to be your wedded husband, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him and comfort him, honor and keep him? in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep only to him, so long as you both shall live. I, David, take you, Melody, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, according to God's holy law, and thereto I pledge you my faith. I, Melody, take you, David, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward for better or worse for richer for poor in sickness and in health to love and to cherish till death do us part according to God's holy law and thereto I pledge you my faith wedding ring is the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to all the uniting of this man and this woman in holy matrimony through the church of Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may abide in your peace and continue in your favor through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. token and pledge of the vows between us made. With this ring I thee wed in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 
admit. And token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding love. With this ring, I thee wed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For as much as David William Landcock and Melody Sharon Hefley have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company, and thereto have pledged their faith each to the other, and have declared the same by joining hands and by giving and receiving rings, I pronounce they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God hath joined together, let no one put asunder. Let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of us all, giver of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life. Send your blessing upon David and Melody, whom we bless in your name, that they may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant between them made, and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together and live according to your laws. Look graciously upon them, that they may love and honor and cherish each other, and so live together in faithfulness and patience and wisdom and true godliness, that their home may be a haven of blessing and a place of peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us unite together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now may God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord graciously with his favor look upon you and so fill you with all spiritual benediction and love that you may so live together in this life that in the world to come you may have life everlasting. Amen. You may kiss your bride. Oh, yeah.